Good morning. Welcome back to the Decameron Project. I'm Carmen Maria Manley of Tennessee Shakespeare Company. The date, April 23rd, 2020. Uh, today's theme is ambition. And something really special might have happened on this day in 1616. Um, I bet some of you can guess what it was. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Um, in 2007, the first African-American woman made it to the North Pole. Her name was Barbara Hillary, and she was 75 years old. And then four years later, she went to the South Pole. She has this great quote, you see dreams, even if they don't come true, are important. Isn't it great to maintain a dream or a memory? I am a hopeless dreamer. And then in 1907, we have uh, a great African poet born, um, Baltazar Lopez da Silva. And uh, he wrote his poetry both in Portuguese and he was from Cape Verde, so he wrote in Cape Verdean Creole. Uh, and I love the forward motion in his poetry, so I'm going to read you one of them right now. Come, all the voices, all the noises, and the screams. Come, the compassionate silences, and also the satisfied silences. Come, all the things I cannot see on the surface of men's society. Come, all the sands, muds, fragments of rock that the probe collects in navigable oceans. Come the sermons of those who are not afraid of the fate of their words. Come the answer received by those who have appropriate detecting devices. Return everything to the starting point. And come the poet's odes. Marry the poets with the breath of the world. All come arm in arm in the round of sinners. May the creatures become the creators. Come all that I feel is true. Beyond the fogged circle of the glass, I will be holding hands, waiting for the treasure that comes to me in the wave of the sea. So did you guess on 1616? Maybe on this day? Could be, could be another day. But definitely in 1616, our beloved William Shakespeare, poet, actor, playwright, dad, husband, he passed away. Um, and I'm going to read a little something that Ben Jonson wrote for his eulogy. But first I'm going to do a piece from Henry VIII by John Fletcher and William Shakespeare about the young Queen Elizabeth in her cradle. Let me speak, sir. This royal infant, though yet in her cradle, yet now promises upon this land a thousand, thousand blessings, which time shall bring to ripeness. She shall be a pattern to all princes living with her, and all that shall succeed, truth shall nurse her. Holy and heavenly thoughts still counsel her. She shall be feared and loved. Her own will bless her. In her time, every man shall eat in safety. God shall truly be known. Truth, plenty, love, terror. She shall be the happiness of England. And from Ben Johnson. Sweet swan of Avon, what a sight it were to see thee in our waters yet appear and make those flights upon the banks of Thames that so did take Eliza and our James. But today I see thee in the hemisphere advanced and made a constellation there. Shine far forth, thou star of poets, and with rage or influence chide or cheer the drooping stage, which since thy flight from hence hath mourned like night and despair's day, but for thy volume's light.
keep in touch with us. We love you. Goodbye for now.